Welcome back, ladies and gents. Today we find ourselves back in Haven Island with a little bit of unfinished business. We're currently standing over the corpse of Tyson Williams, one of three people that brought us to this exotic location. He was enjoying himself a nice, warm, relaxing bath when the unthinkable happened. Splash, splash, I was taken to- <laughs> Yeah. Two targets remain. A tragic accident indeed. Before we move on, I couldn't help but notice that quite a few of you seem to be a little bit disappointed in the lack of a rubber duck explosion in the previous video. So, method number 10! Splish splash, I was taking a bang! <laughs> Work there, you happy? Anyway, it's time to get a move on. So let's stick Mr. Williams in the nearby closet and make ourselves scarce. Our next destination is the Haven Island server room, which is located in the basement beneath the villa. The entrance is located on the eastern side of the premises behind an outdoor bar, and the quickest way to get there is via the pool area at the rear of the villa. Taking this route, leads us to this chappy, who seems to be taking forever to muster up the courage to leap off that diving board. Okay, ladies. Are you watching? Here goes. Any second now, I'm totally gonna do it. Come on, Dave, you got this. Do you really want to look like a pussy in front of all those chicks over there? Come on, man. Here we go. Okay, on the count of three. One. Two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three, bang! Well, what do you know? He did it. Okay, it's time to head down into the server room. So let's get to that entrance. And look at that. Perfect timing. We won't even be needing a key card to gain access. So we're here for a couple of reasons. The first and most important reason is to locate and retrieve that USB drive for Miss Vitrova. But while we're down here, we can also destroy the evidence, rendering all remaining security cameras useless, as well as explore a couple of alternative methods of assassinating all of our targets. But we'll get to that in a moment. Right. So now that the evidence has been destroyed, it's time to get that USB drive. See that chick right there? It's actually in her locker. So? I heard that. <laughs> That's what you get for being a thief, bitch. Yoink! And now we'll simply slip through the corridor into the locker room, open her locker with the key we just obtained, and grab the USB drive from the top shelf. You beauty! Now it's time to head back upstairs into the office and use the nearby phone to call Miss Vitrova with the good news. Miss Vitrova, I've acquired the item you wanted. Wonderful. I knew you were the right man for the job. I could feel it the moment I laid my eyes on you. Should we meet? Yes, absolutely. Come to the spa over by the pool area. As you just heard, she'd like for us to meet her in the spa. But before we head topside and do that, let's take a look at a couple of alternative ways we could have undertaken our assassinations today. Both of these methods require a little bit of prep work. The prep work involves knocking out a couple of technicians as well as unplugging four server racks to completely mess up the Haven Island database. So let's get it done. Now that we've caused a total server collapse, all three of our targets will come running from all over the island to see what the fuck is going on. Unsurprisingly, the first person to sprint through to the server room is the fit and fast Stephen Bradley. 
The second target to drag himself through the door is Tyson Williams. Didn't want to throw your robe on for the occasion, mate? Go on, you fat, lazy, sick cunt. Get up there. Do your naked thing. You fucking disgusting pig. Last but not least is none other than Miss Vitrova. It's good to see you again, love. Why don't you take your pretty self down there and join the rest of the game? Fantastic. Now that everybody's in the one place, I think it's time for method number 11. Right, so now that everyone's here, let's swipe the muffin from the nearby desk and use it to distract this technician so that he doesn't see what we're about to do which is to poison the server room's ventilation system while all three of our targets are inside. Well done. Method number 12. Say that we weren't too keen on the whole poisoning idea. Well, here's another way that we could have dealt with the terrible trio. Splendid! Now, let's get ourselves to a good vantage point and wait for the gang to arrive. God damn it, Tyson, this is all your fault. Steven, how dare you talk to me like that, mate? I'll have you know, I am the. Good work, 47. Okay, now it's time to get topside and head to the day spa to meet Miss Petrova. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Well, it looks like Miss Vitrova is otherwise engaged and clearly in no hurry to meet up with us as she relaxes in that hot tub. So, method number 13. Hello, love. Hope that you're nice and relaxed in there. Good work, 47. Just kidding. Nice outfit, Mr. Reaper. I see you're already doing what you can to fit in. What we're actually gonna do is get Miss Vitrova's attention, follow her into a private massage room, hand her the USB stick, and then pretend to listen to her carry on about personal shit that we really don't care about. Tyson, Mr. Williams, we used to be together, but his illness, I couldn't take it anymore. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Neither do I. He monitors my every move. I think he asked that girl to steal my information because he wants to... I don't know... Punish me? Kill me? Who knows anymore? Sounds hard. Huh? Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. So after providing a sympathetic ear to Miss Vitrova's sob story, it's almost time to get a move on. But first... Oh, I almost forgot. If you'd like a massage, the room's available. Just lie down and someone will be with you shortly. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> well, this is nice. Who says that you can't take a little time away from work to focus on yourself once every now and then? And look! Miss Petrova's back. Hello, love. Actually, you know what? This gives me an idea. Method number 15. Hello, Miss Petrova! Would you like a massage from a bald man? I bet you do. I think I threw out something in my back yesterday. Don't be afraid to really use those muscles of yours. Oh, I will not. Are you nice and relaxed, Miss Vitrova? How about now? My neck. <laughs> My neck. I hope it's all fixed now, love. Okay. I think we've spent enough time in the spa for now. After our little rendezvous with Miss Vitrova, she bids us farewell and then excuses herself to make a phone call outside. Naturally, we're going to eavesdrop on this phone call because 47's a nosy bastard. Stephen, I recovered the USB drive and I think I've found a solution to our mutual problem. 
I just need to get that idiot Portman out of his hut so I can access his computer. So she wants to get that idiot Portman out of his hut so that she can access his computer, hey? Well, I suppose that we can help her do that as well. Which means our next move is to head back to the water huts at the south of the island. Portman's hut is the sea turtle hut, the one right next to ours. Naturally, the front door is locked, so we'll break in via the side door when no one's watching. Now that we're inside, it's time to locate Mr. Portman. He's talking on the phone on the private deck just outside the bathroom. And I know what you're thinking. But we can't be doing shit like that if we still want to get that silent assassin ranking. So the alternative is to knock the fucker out. This baseball and bat ought to do the trick. Hop. Hey! Who's messing with my limited edition baseball? Now that we've removed Mr. Portman from the equation, all we need to do is wait for Miss Petrova to swing by and use his computer. And of course, there are a couple of interesting little traps that we can set for her. So let's take a look. Method number 16. On the floor right by Jason Portman's computer is a power board. And right next to said power board is a drinking fountain. I don't think it needs to be said what sort of shenanigans we can get up to by combining these two beautiful items, but unfortunately, there's one small problem. Looking sharp today, sir. This fucking guy. Excuse me, sir, who are you again? I'm getting really fed up with you. Jesus! Take that, you bald... British Abraham fucking Lincoln. So like his mate Jason Portman, we're going to need to remove him from the scenario. God damn it, come on, stand! So did you have anything to do with this mess? Me! That's gonna hurt all day. Right. So now we're all set to tamper with the power point, pierce the water jug to trigger a leak, and then switch on the power. With everything in place, we just need to wait for Miss Vitrova to enter the cabin. Hmm. Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Hey, do you have anything to do with this? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Does anybody know this asshole? What, is he your buddy? You. Hey, buddy, tell me, what's your involvement in this? What's his problem? Seriously? People today. Anyone know this guy? That's enough. What are you, some kind of troublemaker? Did you do this? This guy. I mean, what is his problem? You know him? Don't move. This is your last warning. <laughs> oh, the wonders of electricity. Method number 17, Mop! While Miss Vitrova is using Jason Portman's laptop, we'll remove the safety pin from the trap door in the bathroom. Then, when she's done, she'll make her way into the bathroom and- Oh, you did it. Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Just hang out underneath the suite. Well, as long as she's dead, I couldn't give any less of a fuck. You do you, girl. Method number 18. Starfish! Oh, God! Oh. Good work, 47. Okay. That's enough fucking around in Portman's premises. After Miss Vitrova has finished rooting around on Jason's computer, she contacts Stephen Bradley and suggests that the pair meet in the spa. So guess where we're going? That's right, the gym! So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. Nah, 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 just kidding. The spa. Okay, ladies and gents, we are on the home stretch now. Our little Haven Island adventure has led us to this moment. As aforementioned, Ludmila Vitrova and Stephen Bradley are meeting at the spa. And upon their arrival, they decide that it'd be a great idea to enjoy a nice, 
relaxing jacuzzi bath together. Let's show them how wrong they are. Method number 20. Ludmila? Yes, Stephen? I, I've wanted to say this to you for the longest time. What is it? You know that you can tell me anything. Well, um, Ludmila? I think I love you. <laughs> you know, I always suspected that there may have been a spark between you two. Method number 21. Ludmila. Yes, Stephen? I... So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, all three of our targets have now been well and truly eliminated. So I think it's time that we got the fuck out of here. Well, almost time. Method 22! Ah, Stephen Bradley. We barely got a chance to get to know the guy. Something we did learn about him, however, is that he loves his jet skis. So naturally, we placed a remote explosive on his water scooter, gave him the fucking keys, waited for him to ride off into the distance, and then blew that motherfucker. Score fucking.